years ago when I first got into this, I realized that I also needed to make a living aside from being a designer because uh, a lot of people just went, a lot of the jewelers wound up just going into becoming designers and I, I wanted, I had, a chil I had children and a family and I needed to make money. So I started doing repairs and a lot of that got me involved with the antiques and the antique jewelry and those types of things that you had to do. <laughs> Honestly, it's, uh, it's mostly just focusing on the, the task at hand. I mean, I try to keep it, uh, if you don't, uh, uh, you're in trouble. You know, you hear, hear them talking about a, a, a day at a time and keeping focus. And even you listen to football players talk about how they don't want to focus on uh, the big the big picture they need to focus on the little picture and I absolutely have to do that I have to focus on each you know you certainly have to think it through in the beginning and some of the designing part of it you have to think through but I mean the uh, the ideas of, of making a piece of jewelry you have to keep focused on every particular technique that you're doing and uh, and work on that make sure you do each one of them uh, each step the way it's supposed to be done I got some phone calls back from folks that were just elated over some of the things that we did and uh, certainly uh, that's about as good as it gets. I mean when when you feel like you're, you're talking about what hits, what's the, the home run, I'd say it's probably the, the, uh, the idea that you've done exactly what you were trying to do, exactly what the customer thought you were trying to do and they both gelled and the techniques went together very well and uh, the finished product looked like a million bucks and that's I think the uh, that's probably the uh, the best thing that I could ask for.